I don't get it. It's like every year we have some type of Super Bowl controversy involving the Raiders and the Bucks, despite the fact that the game took place over a decade ago. Whether it be the barbs between you know, Warren Sapp and Rich Gannon, whether it be between Rich Gannon's uh, not-so-friendly relationship with the current Oakland Raiders organization, whether it be a year, I think a year and a half ago, when Jerry Rice and Tim Brown accused Bill Callahan of sabotaging Super Bowl 37? Even though Bill Callahan was coaching the Raiders? And then no, you also got to think about this. This was the last time, 2003 this time in 2003 when the Raiders were actually relevant and when I mean relevant I mean you know competitive considered contenders I mean you know they were one game away from uh, winning it all right uh and and I just feel bad for Raiders fans because it seems like on the surface they got a good young quarterback they got a foundation Jack Del Rio's in the game yeah big things in 2015 and then we get this story ironically during deflate gate which of course is the current investigation going on with the nfl and the new england patriots the patriots are being investigated for deflating balls used by their offensive unit during the afc championship game against the colts now look they spanked the colts i don't think the balls had too much to do with it but still cheating is cheating apparently they deflated the balls for a better grip uh, i'm reading some uh, headlines here one from espn a source says that 11 of the 12 balls were deflated. Wow. So just when this story is really starting to, to bubble up to uh, you know maintain its presence in the public eye, Brad Johnson comes out and does Bill Belichick a favor and makes people temporarily forget about Deflategate. Why? Because for whatever reason, and for those that don't know who Brad Johnson is, he was the uh, Super Bowl winning quarterback with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2003. For whatever reason, he decided to talk to the Tampa Bay Times. And here's what he said. I paid some guys off to get the balls right. I went and got all 100 footballs, and they took care of them. Brad Johnson admits he paid $7,500, $7,500 to multiple officials who he would not name, employed by the NFL, to tamper with 100 Footballs, all 100 footballs used in the game to get a better grip. Meaning he was able to grip the ball better, throw it better, and his receivers were able to catch it better and route to a dominating Super Bowl victory in 2003. Now, we should note, unlike Deflate Gate, the Raiders, the opposing team in the Super Bowl against the Bucks that year, had the opportunity to use the same balls. And, of course, uh, for those that watched the game, Frozen in NFL history, they'll know that Rich Gannon probably had one of the worst games in Super Bowl history, as far as uh, quarterbacks go, and threw for five interceptions. So, here's the thing. $7,500? Even back in the year 2003? $7,500? I mean, 75000 I can understand. 7500 a bunch of officials were willing to risk their jobs for $7,500? Either Brad Johnson has some good friends, or the NFL wasn't uh, paying their officials uh, as much as they thought they deserved. I, I don't know. $7,500? All it takes is $7,500 to bribe officials? Man. Well, we know why Brad Johnson did it. He said in the NFC Championship game in Philly, he had trouble gripping the ball. Paid 7500 bucks, got that taken care of. But now the question remains. The questions. What the hell do you do if you're the NFL? Do you retroactively strip the Bucks of the Super Bowl title? I mean, I don't think you can really do that, right? I mean, they didn't do that with the Patriots for Spygate. I don't know if you can really do that. What the hell do you do to the Tampa Bay organization? You know, Do you punish them for negligence? I mean, John Gruden has said that... Well, actually, I don't know if he's really said much other than... Not claiming that he knew about this, so you know. I mean, I don't. What what can you do? John Gruden's not in the league. Brad Johnson's not in the league. You know, the the Bucks could claim they didn't know about this, and Brad Johnson was a rogue. 
will they uh, involve the FBI in this or, or something? I mean, I think the FBI has bigger concerns than football, but, you know, could this turn into a much bigger investigation? If I'm the NFL, I want to find out who the hell these officials were, and I want to get rid of them if they're still in my league. Man, the last 12 months, for as great as it's been for the NFL in terms of revenue, in terms of profit, in terms of ratings, public relations-wise, the last 12 months have got to be the worst ever for the NFL. Between this, between Deflategate, between everything with Ray Rice, between Adrian Peterson, just, man, oh man. And look, some of it, obviously, self-inflicted by the NFL and, and their lack of uh, certain policies against domestic violence and uh, other crimes. But this, wow. And, and to the best of my knowledge, this is before Goodell even got into office, right? And this is still when Paul Tagliabue was around. Wow. That's all I got to say. But folks, I want to hear from you. What do you think about Gate? Keep in mind, we'll have an update on Gate later today. So we'll update you on that in the NFL coaching carousel. What do you think about Brad Johnson's shocking, stunning, mind-boggling admission? Guilty conscience? Maybe you want his name in the headlines? Maybe a little bit of both? We shall see. And no, this didn't hurt his Hall of Fame chances. This guy was, you know, a solid quarterback in his day, but uh, you know, n- nobody Hall of Fame caliber. So maybe he just didn't care and felt like speaking his mind. We'll see. But let me know. Leave a comment below. Tweet us. Facebook us. Do what you got to do. And don't forget to subscribe for more football updates. If you enjoyed this update, please click the like button. Please share us with all your friends. And until next time, everybody, as always, enjoy the games. Raiders fans, I'm sorry, man.